was your date last night, Jake? It turned out okay, but I had some problems along the way. Why? What happened? It started when I was getting ready to meet Anne. After I had brushed my teeth, I used some mouthwash to make sure my breath would be extra fresh. At first, I was fine, though it was a strong taste. But the taste got more intense as I rinsed my teeth, and my mouth felt like it was on fire. Then I looked at the bottle I had used. I realized I had rinsed my mouth with aftershave instead of mouthwash. The mouthwash and aftershave bottles were right next to each other. I quickly rinsed my mouth and used the mouthwash from the right bottle this time. You must have been pretty distracted to make that kind of mistake. Did everything else go okay? Unfortunately, no. I went to get dressed and realized I had left my best shirt in the washer. I had meant to put it in the dryer before I started getting ready. I went to get it from the washer, but my mother had already put it in the dryer. I was relieved until I took it out. The shirt had shrunk. Oh no! Did you find something else to wear? I was running short on time, so I threw on a different shirt and ran out the door. I got to the restaurant in the nick of time. I sat at a table to wait for Anne to arrive. After I had waited for a few minutes, I realized I had put my shirt on inside out. This had never happened to me before last night. I went to the bathroom to fix it. When I came back, a waiter had given my table to someone else. I told a server what had happened, but he said I would have to wait for another table. After about ten minutes, I told them that I had waited long enough. They finally gave me a new table, apologizing that they had made a mistake. Did Anne show up? No. I began to get frustrated. I had been sitting at the table for about fifteen minutes when Anne called me. She sounded upset. She said that she had waited for me for over twenty minutes. She had left the restaurant and was in her car, about to go home. How come you never saw her? I asked her where she had sat at Taqueria Loca, and she sounded surprised. She had been at Taqueria San Jose. Since I already had a table, I told her to come to Taqueria Loca. Then Anne made it to the restaurant, right? Yes, she did. After ten minutes had passed, Anne finally showed up. When I saw her, I felt the wait had been worth it. We stayed at the restaurant for a long time, eating and talking. Did you have much in common? Yes, we did. It turns out she had listened to most of the same music I did when I was a teenager. She had even played on a basketball team, just like me. Great minds think alike. I'm glad the rest of the night went smoothly. Not exactly. Oh no! Did something else go wrong? After we had eaten, I went to the men's room. When I looked at myself in the mirror, I saw that I had several large pieces of cilantro in my teeth. They had been there the whole time I was talking to her. I was so embarrassed. That's not a big deal. People get stuff in their teeth all the time. Yeah, but that's not all. I made the biggest mistake of the night when we were in the parking lot. She leaned towards me, and I thought she wanted me to kiss her. I leaned in to kiss her and hit her head really hard. 
She told me that my car keys had started to slip out of my jacket pocket, so she had only meant to reach for them. That is bad. How embarrassing. On the bright side, at least you got to meet her. Are you going to see her again? Yes, tonight. Oh, that reminds me, I have to go. I had bought a new shirt and I left it at the dry cleaners. I better go get it. I hope you have better luck tonight. Thanks. <laughs> Past perfect. The formula for past perfect is had plus past participle or the third form of the verb. We use the past perfect to express a past action finished before another action in the past. When I came back, a waiter had given my table to someone else. I asked her where she had sat at Taqueria Loca. After 10 minutes had passed, Anne finally showed up. I went to get the shirt from the washer, but my mother had already put it in the dryer. I had meant to put it in the dryer before I started getting ready. We also use the past perfect to show that something happened before a specific time in the past. This had never happened to me before last night. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.